The National Drought Management Authority and the European Union have stepped up drought mitigation measures to cater for livestock through provision of animal pellets. Garissa County received a total of 5,650 kilogram bags of pellets, which will be distributed to 2,800 households in five most affected sub-counties and is expected to supplement at least 14,500 livestock. Speaking after flagging off animal feeds in Garissa, NDMA CEO Colonel Retard de Harid Aden say the government has reviewed coordination in the response processes to avoid duplication of services by the actors. At least 332,000 people in Garissa are already affected by drought and that number is likely to rise with a delay in the short rain season. This food is meant for the weak animals that have been left behind after the main animals have migrated to, to, to other areas looking for pasture. As a government, uh, last week, uh, food relief was delivered uh, to, to all the counties, uh, including Garissa County. And this is an exercise which is being undertaken all over the country. The government also has scaled up uh, in terms of other interventions, the health sector, health and nutrition, uh, water tracking. We are undertaking water tracking in four sub-counties which have been severely affected by drought. Boreholes kuminanane. Iyo ndia naitua strategic boreholes kuminanane. Ile ambaye imearibika imerekebishwa rata yu second half. Vile vile uh, fedha inatafutwa ili tuweze kujimba ama ku drill boreholes kume nyingine saidi ili iweze kusaidia kwa ukosefu ya maji uh, vile vile uh, trucks ile ya kubeba maji tutaongeza nyingine uh, tutatolewa kutoka na Robi na nyingine tutaweza kuripea ile imearibika ili kuhakikisha kwamba ile mpango ya maji ya kupeana itakuwa ni sawa